Appreciate it. Sean, I don't want you to go anywhere. Oh, come, come back up here. This is, you know, let me make this very clear. I'm really big on recognition. Thank you guys so much for being with me. Also, Nicole, where is she? Is Nicole in she? Where is she? I can't see her. I want to come over here one moment. I'm doing this for one reason. I retired from West Broward High School. I met this young lady there. She introduced me to this gentleman. So without a shadow of a doubt, I wouldn't be standing here right now, Nicole, if it hadn't been for what I call relationships being the new currency in America. So to Nicole, I say thank you. To Sean, I say thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Let's give them a round of applause. Mr. T, right here. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Well, you know, this has been a very, very nice morning already. Everyone enjoyed the breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, it was really great. I want to say this to you, man, that I have one question for you. All of my future teachers of tomorrow, what is your why? I want to know what is your why. I want to know why are you deciding that you want to be a teacher? Oprah Winfrey said this, and I'm just going to piggyback off her, the greatest profession in the world. You're a motivator, you're an inspirer, you're a change maker, you do cognitive development, and that is critically important. This term right here, activate or stagnate for me, is really from my book there, Activate or Stagnate. I'm going to take it like this. Everyone should take action in their life. There's something about being a procrastinator that, hmm, not really good for you. And for me, for 31 years, I'm going to tell you what my why has been. My undergraduate is in business. It's not education at all. I have a master's degree in exceptional student education from Barry University. My undergraduate degree is from Florida and Neal University in business administration. So honestly, back in 1976, Mr. G jumped on the back of a U-Haul truck, took off chasing the music business. I'm still a musician. I'm going to perform tonight somewhere. Uh, Dr. Byrne, I, I wish I could be there for the dinner tonight, but you know, the business still calls. And honestly speaking, I did. I went to college, got out in 76. Uh, my younger sister, Ruby Baker, who's an incredible vocalist, I wrote about her in my book. I call her the great one because it's family. Here's the point I want to make to you. And I'm going to advance this one right now because if you're going to be a great educator, it better be passion. If you're going to be a great education, it better be purpose. And there's one other P I didn't put up there, and I call it PP3 to be the best me. Passion, purpose. Who can guess that P? Can I get possibilities? The universe will give you possibilities. If you approach it with passion, you approach it with a purpose in your life, I promise you it will give you what you want, no doubt about it. That book is an inspiration to me. We were talking about innovation. What are we going to do? We're speaking from a technology perspective. I'm going to speak about innovation from an education perspective. I told you I left college in 76. I flew to New York. I had a family friend that let me live in their home in New Jersey. Six months later, I had a recording contract. And to make a long story short of it all, I came back to South Florida, recorded the contract, went out. I opened for Marvin Gaye, uh, Betty Wright, uh, what's his name? A few other great people at the record company I was with. But here's the long story short of all of that. Let's fast forward. I'm a professional musician for many years. I'm working the top clubs in South Florida. I go to work one night. And this is when I had to become a game changer. Manager comes over to me, Dr. Byrne, and says, sir, we got a brand new band wants to come in next week. You guys are going to have a gig next week. Well, next week came. Do you think I had a job that next week? No. And that's when I had to say to myself, Mr. Griffith, you got to take what I call a pivot. So I went to school again. Never too late to educate yourself forever. Something's going to come up in the morning. I'm going to say, strive for big prize for the grand prize of success. I took the pivot, and you know why I had to? I'm the band leader. I have seven people who are responsible for it. My wife is on pregnancy leave at that moment, and I have my new son that's one year old. You're talking about dancing to the rhythm of life? I had to do that. So, education, the common denominator. I didn't think I could pass GRE, get the MAT. You all know what I'm talking about, merely analogies test or graduate requirement interest, whatever that's. Man, I was overwhelmed, even on top of that, getting the money to go to school. But I did it. I did it. I was an activator. I procrastinated long enough, and something happened in my life, and I had to react to it. And the rest is history. 31 years later, if you see the little small print right there, it says 25-time marathoner. And the only reason why I'm doing that is to tell you that 
I didn't run my first marathon until I was 42. I'm 69 years old. Come on, give the old guy a round of applause. You know, I'm still standing, man, you know. <laughs> and, and the bottom line is this, man. I'm going to tell you from the deepest core part of me, teachers and coaches have been my greatest inspiration. Aside from my mother, I never knew my dad until I was 50 years old. So I had him in my life for about 10 years. And he passed away at 87. My mother lived two days before her 99th birthday. And the point I'm making to all of this, you are critically important to tomorrow. And when I spoke about innovation, I spoke about it seriously. This book is a new edition. I initially released this book back in 2005. And you know why the book became? My innovative move was this. Imagine this. I'm fresh out of graduate school. So I'm so excited that I got a job. I just wanted to work with someone. I had to go to school 52 Saturdays, 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. You're not allowed to come in at 801. Dr. Arlene Sachs, stickler. She locked the door. She locked that door. You couldn't get in. We missed one Saturday in 52 weeks, my friends. And guess what it was? Hurricane Andrew. That was the only excuse you had unless you were in an accident or in the hospital. You had to come 52 weeks. I survived it, but all of the schools in my area in Miami, I was living in Hialeah, went out. Long story short of it all, I came to Broward County. I got my first job in 1992. And that's when technology ties into this conversation. You know Steve Jobs, you remember the apple in one box? Now, come on, somebody, I don't know you all kind of, I don't know anyone ever seen that. There was one back there that remembers it. <laughs> Dr. Janine Gendrum. She wasn't a doctor back then. She was just a teacher on the staff with me. I was terrified, man. I'm not lying to you. To just touch a computer and know what to do. But guess what happened? I got fired up. I got focused about it. I loved it. In that year, I was the first ESC teacher ever to get a ESC computer lab. I was brave enough. I took about 20 ESC kids and they said, hey, man, we're all going to do it. The best way to learn something is what? Teach it. Come on. The best way to learn is what? Teach it. Come on, say it with enthusiasm. The best way to learn is to what? Teach it. Believe me, man, I got it. These kids not only did that, we created the first ever ESC newsletter. We created the first ever ability to have these kids create databases, do spreadsheets. And it was, and remember, this is 1992, 93, man. You know, we, it wasn't like, like this. You know, th this is incredible. I mean, honestly. When I walk in, and I tell you this, that book right there came from those days. I'm going to back it up. Remember, new teacher, first year. Can you imagine, Sean, you got six classes in six different rooms, and you got a cart that you got to, you got to push this cart around. You got five minutes, man. You got to get to your next class, and you're little, you're literally, you're stressed out. By the time you get in, you're doing like this, and I go, whew. But you know what? I was fired up, baby. I was focused about it. Remember, passion, purpose, what's the last word? Possibility. Come on, my teacher, speak up. Passion, purpose. Possibility. The universe gave me possibility. I did that for one year. It was incredibly stressing, very difficult. But what happened out of that? Every day I came in, these are ESC students, EH students, kids with autism, Down syndrome, kids who were truants, kids who didn't even want to come to school. But I got them fired up. They had a little notebook that came in every day. They wrote down their journals for me. And guess what? Out of all of those journals we wrote and shared, 30 of my best went in that book. Whoever would imagine that me inspiring them, writing to them every day would have led me to this. So I want to tell you something. What it made me do, it made me feel like I needed to strive for everything that matters to me. Everybody up for me one moment because I know I'm getting down to the clock. I need everyone to stand up. I need you all on your feet. Come on. This is an interactive presentation. Everybody up. I want you to understand when I say strive with big pride for the grand prize of success. Strive with big pride for the grand prize of success. I think I'm going to stand back so I can look at this with you over here. Now, when I say study, 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 all I need you to do is say what? Study, study, study. Come, study, study, study. Study, study, study. Come on with some enthusiasm. Study, study, study. study, study, study. Try, my very best. Try my very best. Remember. Remember. Just one word. Remember. Remember. And you know why? Remember this. Remediation, retention, recall, the three R to the next pillar.
retention, recall. The next one right there, I'm going to go to this word. Just say what we've been talking about. Innovate. innovate. Come on, everybody. Innovate. 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 Visualize success. Visualize success. Stop for a moment, everyone. Please, just some of my future teachers right now, just do this with me. Close your eyes for about 20 seconds. Visualize that place you're going to be. I did it. I had that passion, that purpose. The universe gave me possibility. Someone standing here is visualizing their new classroom. Someone standing here right now is a new administrator in a new office. Someone's writing a book about education right now as an entrepreneur. Just visualize it. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Oh man, I got some things I'm working on. I see it, I feel it. Woo, that feel good. Give yourselves a round of applause. How about it? Oh yeah. I didn't forget letter E. What does it say? Educate myself forever. Come on, repeat. Educate myself forever. Say it one more time. Educate myself forever. Have a seat. Give yourselves a round of applause. How about that, huh? Strive and be proud for the grand prize of success. You'll get your foundation. I'm going to move real fast now because I promised Sean it wouldn't take very long. You're going to get that success. You're going to get that success. And when you get success, you're living a life of balance. If I stand there right now and I put all these things down. <laughs> no, no joke. You, I can't keep the balance. I'm not going to make you all stand up again, but here's the point. When you're out of balance, you're living with organized chaos. You are mind, body, and spirit. This book is a real good book for you to stop and answer those questions in the beginning. Who are you in mind? Who are you in body? And who are you in spirit? Big difference. Big difference when you find that place of balance. It will open doors to you like you would never, ever imagine. People ask me all the time, how did you run a marathon? I couldn't run one mile. I'm not lying to you. I could barely get around the track four times. But I say to myself, I can do this because I want to be in balance with myself. And my nickname was Fat Boy. <laughs> I was bullied. They called, I had, they called me Piece of Face and Fat Boy. I'm serious. I had bad acne and I, I had a growth spurt, Dr. Byrne. I went from one, I went from about 100 and, should I say, 50 to 180 over the summer. And all my friends would pick at me up there, fam, you. But you know something? I learned from it all, man. You have to be able to be in check with yourself. Me, myself, and I, oh my. Me, myself, and I, oh my. And I'm going to tell you something about that. It'll lead to your success. I got about two minutes. Before I go any further, though, I want to do this in the right way. I brought my book here to give away. This is just one of the old books, but I'm really big on time management. Critically important. This book is called 30 Days to New You. Look under your seat right now. With anyone, just look under your seat. See if you're one of the lucky ones. You get a copy of this book. Just look under your seat if you find it. Uh-oh. Give her a round of applause back there. Ah. Oh. Uh, was anyone else that... I want to make sure I get a hey, hey Joshua. Don't let me forget to get a, a picture with her. There you go. Give him a round of applause. All right. You know, I'm here to give it back a little bit to you. I don't mind. Uh, listen to me when I tell you this. I got to move fast. I got one minute. I can't go through all of these A to Z strategies, but we've been talking about 26 equal 26, right? There are 26 what? Alphabet there. There are 26 miles in a marathon. So I'm going to use the analogy to reality. Life is a marathon. Life is a marathon, but you had to start with that very important thing, attitude. Give a value letter A to Z for all of those and add them up. Guess what it comes to? Anyone ever done that? 100%. You know what I mean? Letter A, B, N, 1, you know, B, what is that? A, B, C, D, E, 4. Add them all up. Give them all the If you think I'm driving, try it. And that's the point I'm making to you. Attitude is everything. It is everything to you. It makes no doubt about it. Run the marathon. Take those strategies. Take action. The most important thing you can do is this. In each of us, there's an infinite amount of energy to reach our maximum potential. But it's like being in a car in the morning. You, you put the car in ignition, right, Dr. Brandon? You, you, you turn the ignition, but you, you don't do what? You don't pull your life into drive. We're only using about 10% of this. You guys know that. 
Function at your maximum potential. Make that happen for you. Never, ever stop believing that you can do this. Know that you're the captain of your ship. You're here to make your contribution. Honor your commitments. Educators, I'm going to say this to you. When you come in and you fired up, when you come in and you focus, you live your life with a burning desire. You come in, you empower yourself. How about it? Do you feel my enthusiasm right now? When you're enthusiastic, people say, woohoo! They love it. Let me tell you, woohoo! Let me tell you something, man. Coming to my high school, West Ballard High, that I left, and I walked in, the first day I went to Dr. Dr. Traeger, Daniel Traeger, he was the guy at the time, the principal, the facilitator. Long story short, this guy would be playing Motown. How many Motown lovers I got? Any more? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you remember that old song, My Girl? Yeah. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Come on, sing it. When it's cold outside, well, I, I got the month of May. I guess you say what? Can make me feel this way. Come on, everybody. My girl. Talking about my girl. Come on, give the old guy a round of applause. You know, I, I got to go sing that song tonight. Uh, I'm working over at the country club doing a big gala for them. And, you know, because I'm still living my passion and purpose, but I never got away from it. I'm just so blessed to do that. So I just wanted to share this with you today. I'm going to go all the way to the end here because I got to get out of here. One thing I want you to know, I got to go. This is, this is how many minutes has it been? I promise you. All right, listen. When you find up, when you focus, things are going to happen. The genius comes to play and greatness will manifest itself. Set those very realistic goals. That is why this book is called 30 Days to a New You. There's a few things I just want to make sure I touch base with. My new teachers. How many aspiring new teachers? Raise your hands. I just want to see just what do we got in the room here? High schools, people. How many seniors in college right now? How many seniors we got? All right. Yeah. No doubt. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know what it feels like to be a senior. Woo, man, I remember those days. I tell you, no doubt about it. The last thing here I'm going to do is I'm all the way to the end. This is the one. I, what? I'm going to do this. This is the one I want to do for you. I want to know this. Who remembers that? Who remembers this? Can anybody remember this? Can anybody remember that? One person. Can anybody remember those acronyms? Can you see? Can any, I got, do I have one? That's right. Wait a minute, stand up. You're on the spot right, right now. Hold on, she come on. Oh wow. Do I have one person that can remember those acronyms? I can't remember. Come on, come on. Come on. Even if it's just the first word. If it's just the first word of them before I get out of here. Come on. I say study, study, study. And then I say, do what? Try. Okay, now I'm cheating, man. You know, come on, doctor. I'm cheating on. Anybody else? Nobody knows what the remember. remember? Innovate. So now, can I get one person? I'll give you a copy of the book. I'll give you a copy. Are you with me? All right, come on over here. You got to get on the spotlight because I. Oh, come on. Hey, give him a round of applause. Come on. Strive with big pride for the grand prize of success. Everybody say that. Strive with big pride for the grand prize of success. That's it, right there. It's Study, study, study. Uh -huh. Try your best. Yes. Remember. Uh huh. Innovate. Yes. Visualize. Yes. And educate. Woo! Give it up. Hey. Um, what's, what's your name, man? Daniel. 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 Come on, make Daniel feel good. He was bold enough. He was brave enough. I got a book for you. I'll autograph it out from here. Thank you. I was, thank you so much. I'm gonna get out of here. The last one is this. You gotta have a passion for life. You gotta have a vision for life. You gotta be unique. And the last thing here is this, my friend. Zoom into your future and don't let the fear monster win. If I leave you with nothing else today, the monster is always on your back. Remember, the only limitations that exist are the ones you place upon yourself, Dr. Byrne. The only one, Sean, is the one you place upon yourself. If you say, I can, it's a sure shot you won't. But I hard, you just say, yes, I can. Come on, everybody, say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, Daniel. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come on, say it with some enthusiasm. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I must. Now, activate a stagnate. Activate a stagnate. Activate a stagnate. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.